ಪರಮ ಭಾಗವತ ಮೌನಿವರ ಶಶಿ ವಿಭಾಕರ ಸನಕ ಸನಂದನ ದಿಗೀಶ ಸುರ ಕಿಂಪುರುಷ ಕನಕ ಕಶಿಪು ಸುತ ನಾನಕ ತುಂಪುರು ಪವನ ಸೂರುಡ್ ಅರ್ಧ ಚಂದ್ರಧರು ಸುಖ ಸರ್ವೋಜ ಭವ ಭೂಸುರ ಬರದು ಪರಮ ಪಾವನಲು ಘನುಲು ಶಾಶ್ವತನು ಕಮಲ ಭವ ಸುಖಮು ಸದಾನುಭವಲುಗಾ ವಾರೆಲ್ಲರು ಮಹಾನುಭಾವರು my only qualification to be here this evening is that i speak telugu <laughs> i i do not know anything about the science of music i never met mr subbu kus krishna kumar as a lawyer has come to me when they came to invite me ask a question why me that i don't think nothing to then mr krishna kumar said uh, Mr. Chairman, should we understand that uh, you listen to music? I said, yes, I listen to music. That's my only association. I know nothing about it. <laughs> Then he said, uh, great Mr. Subaru always used to say, knowing the science of music is not necessary for somebody to enjoy the, enjoy the beauty of music. If, if you can enjoy the beauty of music, that's good enough qualification to be here this evening is it and i was left with not much of a choice when i read out uh, those lines from tyagaraja all of us know it's quite fashionable some of them do it very reverently some of them simply say it uh, i remember the former president kalam when he addressed the parliament for the first time opened with that statement in the ro mahanubhavo i know he read with great reverence the point is uh, i was a very fond student of telugu literature before i became a lawyer if destiny did not bring me to the field of law in all probability i would have ended up as a teacher of telugu do i don't know a word about music the science of music i know perhaps the lyric of uh, 100 jagraj krutis because that my mother tongue now on an occasion like this since i do not know anything about the science of music not did i ever meet late mr subaru so i was really pondered over what should be the content of my speech so an old advice given by somebody when you know nothing about the subject you can talk about everything <laughs> <laughs> now i will trouble you i won't trouble you then but i know this much about uh, music it's a the whole universe consists of vibrations and vib- at a part- as a student of physics i know at a particular range of the spectrum the vibrations create sound and sound has the ability to generate various emotions in human beings a huge explosion can generate an emotion of fear like that every every frequency every magnitude of the frequency has the capacity to generate differing emotions in human beings in fact i don't know some of uh, you must have seen an old telugu movie a 3d kid old telugu movie very popular those days a movie called shankar offer <coughs> there's a is a wonderful scene in that about uh, music i mean the whole thing is about music and a musician and at a particular occasion that man chides somebody who is supposed to be experimenting with music and wonderfully explains the whole thing he says look here don't destroy the whole thing in the name of uh, music I mean, experiment for every emotion there is a specific shruti uh, there is a specific tala and he explains it beautifully he says 
a child who is rudely woken up in the sleep out of some bad dream says amma in a particular uh, with a particular intonation a particular uh, shruti a child uh, who is hurt who suffers an injury says the same word in a different uh, intonation so like that for every expression for every anubhuti says there is a specific you know how musical uh, notation there so don't uh, without knowing understanding all these things don't try to make any experiments with music so i think that beautifully summed up the whole thing now why are we here this evening what is the purpose of uh, remembering somebody like mrs subura for that matter any great personality who had some contribution to this society so once again you will pardon me from quoting from a telugu work the first gyanpeetha award recipient from andhra pradesh was a gentleman called vishwanath sachinarayan as a prolific writer among many other things he wrote a he wrote ramayana in telugu known as the titled ramayana kalpa puruksha in the opening chapter of that book he wrote in form of a poem i don't want to recite the poem or somebody perhaps there must be somebody knowing telugu in this audience and read it out and explain it to you మరల నిదేల రామాయణం వర్ణచో ఈ లోకమన్న ఇన్ని నాళ్ళుగా తిన్నాయన్నమే తినసున్నాయి అది సేస్ వై ఆర్ యు అటెంప్టింగ్ రామాయణ వన్స్ అగైన్ ఇఫ్ సంబడి ఆస్క్ దట్ క్వశ్చన్ ది ఆన్సర్ వాస్ దిస్ దిస్ హోల్ వరల్డ్ ఈస్ ఈటింగ్ ద సేమ్ ఫుడ్ అవర్ గ్రాండ్ ఫాదర్ ఏట్ ద సేమ్ ఫుడ్ ఫాదర్ ఏట్ ద ఫుడ్ వి ఏట్ ఎస్టర్డే స్టిల్ వి ఆర్ ఈటింగ్ ది రెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ వెరీ నెసెసరీ ఫర్ అస్ ఎట్ దిస్ స్టేజ్ on it i'll recite it chesina samsarame cheyu sunnayadi so grandfathers went through the process of samsara for fathers we have gone through it but why are we doing it the answer comes in the next line tanadaina ruchi bratukulu tanave kana so every man's taste is unto himself every man's life is unto himself the traditional indian belief is when a human being loses taste for food his days are counted that's that's what traditionally elders told us so therefore uh, well uh, the author says when I mean, the implication of the poem is the day why did he choose this example the explanation by the scholars is the day this country loses taste for i am not talking about the divinity the hindutva part of it i am not about but take it as a great work of human uh, conduct and discipline if you look at it from that point of view it has a great message so the day this country forgets this doesn't doesn't enjoy the taste of this perhaps the civilization of this country is coming to an end similarly therefore remember it repeat it write it that's the purpose for which i am writing is sir similarly so long as we remember these great personalities who contributed to the growth of growth and sustenance of uh, these various arts the culture of this country is safe and that's perhaps the purpose of an occasion like this on this occasion i pay my respects to let ms subhu i thank every one of you for giving me a patient hearing i'll just add one last sentence very frequently nowadays we hear that everybody complaining telugu tamil is kannadiga is complaining that their language is in danger and then everybody wise for that the status of a ancient language there's a lot of people in andhra pradesh who believe that uh, telugu is in great danger is almost on the verge of extinction i'm sure everybody believes about their own respective mother tongues i always told my friends telugu is safe so long as 
people of Tamil Nadu don't lose their taste for music. Because so long as they don't lose their taste for music, they'll have to remember Tagaraja. Music is... is